Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be checking out the Cyanogen Mod ROM for your Nexus 5. So yes, this does come with the latest version of Android 4.4.2, and Cyanogen Mod included some goodies for your Nexus 5. Guys, let's check out CM11. So the Cyanogen Mod team has been making ROMs for a long, long time, and they're actually even their own company now. So if we pop up into settings and go to about device, just to show you, this is running the latest version of Android. And from these settings, you could do stuff like update straight away to the next version of Cyanogen Mod. Right now, I am running the nightlies, and they do seem to be pretty stable for now. Of course, there also is a stable version, but... Oddly enough, the nightlies seem to be more stable than the stable ROM itself. So if we pop up into settings where we get some interface options, we have three different menus. The first one is lock screen. So if we pop up in a lock screen, we could do things like add shortcuts. They actually added their own already, but if you want to change that up, of course you can do that. Also, we do get the Cyanogen Mod Clock widget if you want to customize that too. Of course, we do get the theme manager, which has been there since the beginning. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it, but you might enjoy that. And then we have interface. This is where we get most of our settings. Under status bar, we can go and choose between a couple of different batteries and add percentage, which didn't come stock Nexus 5, which kind of sucks. We could also go into quick settings and customize them to our like liking. So we could move them around uh, to wherever we want. And we can also add from a whole other set of choices if you're that person who likes to have a bunch of toggles. Um, we can also go under here and change colors, but I'm not going to be going in depth with that as that's more something you'll be playing around by yourself. Also, we do get a notification drawer settings, but I didn't really find any useful stuff under there. Of course, we do get expanded desktop. Here we could go and choose... If we want to have an expanded desktop so basically when you hold the power menu it does what you would expect it expands the desktop I set it to remove the navigation bar so you get some more screen real estate which is always a big bonus and under that we also do get a setting for quick commands so if we swipe up to get to Google now we could also add some more options so we get a bunch of different toggles and we can also add an application if you want to have quick access to an application that you use a lot. So something like YouTube maybe. And then of course another awesome feature is the navigation bar settings. Here we can go and unlock the little lock at the top and choose between some more options if you want to add some extra buttons at the bottom. And once you're done you just click the lock button and it will save them to your phone. So, Mod does like to include some of its own apps, and the first one that I wanted to show you guys is Torch, as that's a very, very popular app. Basically, if we open it up and accept it, we could choose um, how we want the flashlight to work, and then you could enable it from your lock screen. We also do get a terminal emulator, and you could go in here and type in commands if you want to do that. Also, we do get some more apps like Movie Studio, and if we go to the first page, we also do get their Apollo Music Player, which they actually even added to the Play Store, but I don't. I use Google Play Music. Of course, you can install that. And they also do have their own file manager, which is a big bonus. It actually works really good and definitely one you could use as your main file explorer. Uh, here's a quick look at the Apollo Music Player just to show you that it is working and you can install music there if you want. So I've had a really pleasant time with Cyanogen Mod. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show you guys is the updated camera, which of course was updated in Android 4.4.2. As you can see, it snaps the pictures a lot quicker. We can enable HDR Plus and now when we take the picture, it'll show us a little loading circle to make sure we know that it's actually taking a picture. The camera did perform perfectly well, and I highly suggest using HDR+, Plus as, as you can see, it makes a huge difference. But, otherwise, this is a very, very stable ROM. I'll have the links down below for this ROM 
and it is in nightly mode which I actually prefer as I haven't had any problems yet so guys definitely go check this ROM out make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more ROM reviews for Nexus 5 and other devices guys thanks for watching